Uh, yes, guys, uh, welcome to our today's class. Hope you are doing well. Uh, we are going to carry on on our part number three. Remember that we did part number one, motherboard number one, motherboard uh, part number two, and this is motherboard part number three. Remember to have your blank uh, page one side and uh, move together with me, right? Or maybe if you got some notebook, something that you are writing down, right? As I said, guys, you are doing CCN2. You're going to be focalized on wireless security. Sorry. Wireless uh, security and switching, right? And uh, for that, we're going also to talk about a uh, motherboard that will be on your switches and uh, motherboard that your routers will use. Uh, before even moving there, I wanted you to master motherboard that your computers will be using. And uh, when you know how a motherboard works and what are the components that are going to be like on top of your motherboard, it's going to be easy to understand most of the stuff because the qualification that you are doing, it's basically a senior certificate. And there is no way that you can say that uh, you are a senior person, but you don't know the basic stuff because one day you're going to manage some other IT technicians. And most of the time when there is a computer problem, even if it's not network problems, at least you have to understand what, what's going on. Maybe it's a software problems, maybe it's a hardware problem. So this uh, academy will never only be focalized on CCNA, but it will also assist you on some of the few difficulties that you got uh, in terms of computer repair or hardware part and software part. So this uh, CCNA, before the end of this uh, yeah. certification, I will do my best for you to understand about hardware part and installation part. And from CCNA3, you are going to learn about server side and CCNA3, right? This is the way I'm splitting this uh, training, right? And when I'm asking you to start drawing, because I wanted you to master the whole motherboard using a pen. So you can be sleeping, they can just work you up and ask you a few questions, you can do it, right? Because you know the whole computer. Because when we're talking about the computer, we're talking about the motherboard. The, the one that we can see is just the cover, right? But the whole computer, it's the motherboard. You can even use a computer without that, that cover. You just put your motherboard there, you start plugging stuff and you switch it on, you start using it. Most of my staff are using their, most of my friends, they are using their computers like that. When you go to their home, their places, there is no, there's no cover. You can just see motherboard there. The, everything is plugged and the monitor is on, right? So it's a very important skill that uh, you need to understand and you have to master, right? We started slowly by slowly and we are going to try to move forward. Don't tell me one day that you did a CCNA course, but you don't know the basic stuff, especially when it comes to computer repair or computer hardware right so now uh let's try to move forward i will try to share my screen uh, right yes so okay so we spoke about a motherboard i'll just just let something here this is my motherboard remember that we do have two important uh, chipset the not bridge here, the end not bridge, and there is the south bridge, right? And uh, you have your north bridge and your south bridge. Remember your north bridge, this uh, chipset will connect the fastest uh, components, like the processor, you got your processor here. Beside your processor, you're gonna have the RAM slot. Those are the RAM slot. RAM slot means this is where you are going to fit your RAM. Beside that, you are going to have like something like a BIOS here. But if even moving to BIOS, I wanted you to understand that the South Bridge will connect with the high G. The ID means what? It's the place where you're going to plug like your hard drives, your CD reader, right? Because your CD reader, your hard drive needs to communicate with the motherboard. But where you are going to plug your CD reader or your DVD reader 
or your hard drives. If you're going to plug, sometimes you can use this one, right? You can use the ID slot, right? Where you can, you're going to fit that cable that will connect the hard drive to the motherboard. But if you're using a smaller cable, the ID uses the parallel cable, parallel the big cable. The smaller one, you can use the SATA. You can use those smaller ones. Right? This, the SATA, the S, right? So you can use the SATA or the parallel. But if your hard drive using the SATA, it's more faster than ID. So some computers can only have the SATA connectors or SATA port. Or maybe that particular computer can have both. Right? And remember that we do have what we call the PCI or the expansion slot for additional components, they are here. So sometimes this one is called expansion slot, all right? Or, all right? So this one will allow you to add like additional components, like, like a modem card, you purchase a new modem card, you wanna add new USB port, you can buy like a, like a card that will have so many USB ports, you're gonna fit it on the expansion slot, right? And remember that this also is connected to, to the north bridge, right? Now you are going to have this BIOS, the B. BIOS will have again its battery here, right? This battery will allow this BIOS to keep the important information to run your computer, your computer, right? So if you have a problem, you can remove this battery, right? So those are the most uh, important part that you are going to deal with and how you're going to use it. When you have a problem, like a performance problem, maybe your computer is slow, you're going to look at a RAM or maybe you can look at the processor, right? So when you have a RAM problem, you know where to go. When you have the image problem, you know where to go. You can go here to the PCI Express or the AGP. This is for images. When you have the image problem, maybe you cannot play games, or maybe the image is not good. When you open your PC, you can go to the accelerated graphic board, right? And beside that, remember that like all the input and output will be connected to the south page, the I.O. The input and output will be connected to the south page, like your USB port, your sound card, right? Because they are slow, they're going to be connected to the the south bridge. And those line here, we call those line the bus. The bus. Right? It's the bus. So what is a bus? A bus, let me type it. So we do have what we call bus. Those are the tiny lines. Right? Because, because your PC Right, your, your motherboard, like this motherboard I have here. Let me first stop. Uh, no, Tokoso, uh, you have to bring the motherboard there. The motherboard, the power suppliers, uh, all those, those stuff, make sure that you bring them. Like this motherboard, right? This motherboard will have what? Those thin lines that you cannot see that connect, you can see those thin lines, smaller lines. If you take your knife, you try to cut here, means you are cutting the hold because data will flow from those tiny lines, those smaller lines that you can see. Because of those lines, those components here, they are connected, right? It's because of those lines, those components are connected. We call those lines buses or a bus. So a bus will allow those components to be connected by sharing what? Data and power. So the electricity will move through those smaller, smaller lines, right? This is the way they are connected, the way they can share, like, information, right? Those are the, the, the RAM routes. You see, there are two. Those RAMs, are the blue ones, will allow you to fit your memory. You're going to take your RAM. Like, here I've got a RAM. This is the, the RAM, the main memory. So I'm going to fit it when? Like, here, like on the RAM slot. This is the meaning. All right, those are the ID. There's only one ID. So if my hard drive uses a bigger cable or the ID cables, I will fit it here. 
right? Oh, there are two. Okay, there's another one here. Two. So I can plug two hard drives. One will be maybe here or one here. Or if I can use this one for CD reader. Sorry. Sorry. Oh, sorry. Maybe I can have a CD or DVD reader. I can also use it here. If that CD or DVD reader is a little cable. But if I'm using a smaller cable, this is the SATA where I'm going to plug. And when you watch next to your motherboard here, there are names. They will tell you next day now it's written like ID, it's written SATA. So not get lost. Right? This is the meaning. So you can see the expansion slot, those ones. Those ones. Look at the expansion slots for additional components, right? And the yellow one is the accelerated graphic code or the PCI Express for the images, the video card, right? You're gonna see it has its own color. That shows you like, this is where you have to fit the card for image. It, so it will be the first one. You're gonna have there's so many uh, expansion slots of PCI for additional component for increasing the performance or for additional port. But the first one gonna have like its, its own color, not only yellow, it can be red, so this one is for, for images, right? This is what I want to show you, right? You can see the CMOS battery also, the battery. If I can remove it so I can lose some of the information that are configured on my BIOS, right? Don't mind about those smaller, smaller ones, those smaller ones. Those are the capacitors, the transistors, right? Don't, so it's only for lowering like the power, or maybe to do the resistance of the power, or maybe to allow the power to move, so you don't deal with those ones. So if you have a problem with those small, smaller ones, mm -hmm. you can throw away your motherboard. It's not your responsibility that one. Your responsibility is about what I'm explaining, right? Mm -hmm. the RAM, video card, the ID, how to change your hard drives, and so on, right? Now, guys, uh, let me try to... To share again, right? Yeah. You see this not bridge. The not bridge is a powerful component that will connect the first component, right? This not bridge will have a hint seek. There's a hint seek like on top, right? There's a hint seek. The hint seek for what? For cooling it down. For cooling, for cooling the not bridge down. Right, you can see the only motherboard here. You can see here, this is where the north bridge is, and this is the hint seat. The hint seat for cooling down the north bridge because the north bridge will connect those first component. Right, yeah. there must be a mechanism to cool it down. Okay, beside this, right, remember your processor also will have what we call a fan. Your processor will have. A fan. So that fan also it's for cooling the processor down because the processor is the first a component, right? It's the main main component for your motherboard, the brain of your, your motherboard, right? Now your processor needs to be cooled down, right? This is this is the fan for the processor. This one. The fan of the processor, and the processor is where it's down here, right? So for you to reach at the processor, you have to remove the fan, and you are going to reach the processor, right? It is what basically, right? So guys, uh, when you got like an exercise, make sure that sometimes when you are free, uh, try to build your own computer, right? Because when you are dealing with companies, companies will have savers. A saver will have just like a motherboard like this one, but the motherboard that's gonna be bigger, right? And that motherboard will have maybe five or 10 processors. Those expansion slots will be a lot. Those RAM slots, you see here, they are only two RAM slots. Means you can only fit two RAM slots, two memories, but, for savers, you're gonna have a lot because like a saver is a powerful computer that will be there to deal with a thousand of users, right? So 
This is what basically act means, right? So now, but when you understand from here, it's going to be easy to deal with servers, right? So from here, when you have a problem with your processor, you know where to go right here. When you have a problem with your memory, your RAM, you know where to go, the RAM slot here. But remember, sometimes when you have a problem with your RAM, there are different types of RAMs. Just remove the RAM that's gonna be there and go to your shop. You said you are looking that particular RAM, right? If you have a problem with your modem card, your TV card, your wireless card, you can increase them here. You can buy new card that, that will come from the port. You can see I have two expansion, no four expansions, dot one, two, three, four, right? This one is what we call the accelerated graphic port or the PCI Express. You're gonna use it for what? You're gonna use it for, for images, right? So it depends, right? But but in general, we call them the expansion slot for additional component, right? And remember that you got also the ID here, yeah, there are two, like on my motherboard. Those ones, it's for bigger cable, the parallel cable when it comes to CD reader, DVD reader, your hard drives, your floppy drives, you can plug them here, right? You plug one side here, you plug also to your hard drive mm -hmm. in order for the hard drive to talk to this motherboard or your CD drive or CD reader to talk to this motherboard, right? And what else I have to explain here? Yeah, but most of the stuff, sometimes you can look at the documentation of this motherboard. This documentation will, will tell you the exact positions of every device, it will tell you, okay, go here, this is the BIOS, uh, this is this, this is this, right? But remember about the notes bridge, the hint sync on top, right? Now, guys, when you are done with this, right? Now, your motherboard needs to get like electricity, right? Your motherboard needs to be on, right? How your motherboard will get? Electricity, not only your motherboard, your hard drive need electricity, your processor, your fans from your processor need electricity, uh, your, your CD or DVD reader needs electricity, your USB port need electricity, you got so many like LID, you got uh, the power button need electricity. That electricity will never come from, from what? From the motherboard that it is from, will come from where there is a power supply that will supply the electricity to all those components that I mentioned now. And that power supply, you, this is what we call the power supply unit, right? So at the back, it looks like this, right? This is the power supply, but that power supply will have different cables, different connectors, we call them the connectors. And those connectors, for every connector, there is, there is a meaning, right? So there is one connector that will go somewhere, there is one connector that will go somewhere. So for every connector, there is a meaning, right? I can then, okay, let me first take something here and I'll show you. First, I wanna take something. Sorry guys, I'm just gonna take like a, yeah. Right, so those are the connectors that your power supply will have. Now, those connectors will be going to every device, like one for powering the whole motherboard, one for powering the hard drives, one for powering your, your CD readers or DVD readers, one for for your for what for for the fan. Remember, you have a fan. That fan needs to be on, right? So you're going to have different connectors that will be connected to different component, and you have to know that. Sometimes when you remove just the power connector, and there's no electricity in the motherboard. Maybe that way that computer is off. Maybe that way when you press the power button, the power button doesn't come on because the connector is out, right? Yeah. So the exercise for today, guys, when you are drawing your motherboard, I want a functioning computer. I want a computer yeah. that will show me one side you draw your motherboard and it will show me how the connection will go, right? So 
Let me go to my screen. So we are going like to have one side, one, one side we're gonna have what we call a power supply unit, right? So the power supply will be like here. This is the power supply that we supply the electricity, right? That box. The power supply needs to bring this motherboard on. Right, so there is a connector that we call the P1, the P1, right? For powering on the whole motherboard. You're gonna see it big. When you go here, number one, there's a power connector. We call it a P1 or 24 pin, it's called 24 pins. If you look at those connectors, right? This one, you are going, to see that it's the biggest one. You can only check this is the P1, this one. So if you count those, those pins, they are 24 or sometimes 26. So if the motherboard is very powerful, right? So this one, you're going just to go here, you, you fit it on your motherboard, right? So like this one, this is a motherboard, right? So the motherboard, this is the white one, this one, this is the power for the power connection. So I'm gonna take this one, I'm gonna just fit it away, fit it here, right? Fit it here, right? In order for the whole motherboard to be on, in order for the whole motherboard to be on, we call it a power connector or P1 connector. Let me go to one of the pictures, you are going, uh, to see what I'm talking about. Let me check that picture if I can see it. Yeah, you can see here. The P1 has 24 pins. Yeah, so it's here. All right? The main power, main power is connected. The 24 pin, right? For powering on the motherboard, right? You're going to see also there is the PCI uh, power connector. Right, to allow your expansion slot to be on, you got the CPU the eight pin uh, connector. You remember the fan? The fan need to be plugged, right? The, that fan first will get electricity, but your CPU also will need electricity, right? This is the meaning of the CPU of eight pin. You're gonna have also something for the fan. You're going to have the four pin, the Molex power connector for hard drives, right? So those are different pins for bringing on different devices. So make sure that you got your motherboard, right? You got your motherboard, you go to the internet, the power supply units labeled, you're gonna see, and you start learning the job of every port. There is a port. For the fan, there's a port for hard drives, there's a port or there's a connector. So powering on the hard drives, there's a connector like this one, like the Molex one, the Molex for hard drives. So this power supply will give electricity to the motherboard, will give electricity to the hard drives, will give electricity to all those other components, right? Sometimes when they are off, we just check this power supply. Now, for servers, you can have one motherboard that will have three to four power suppliers, 10 power suppliers. That way, a server can be big because the server will have multiple same components. All right? So, the exercise that I'm going to give to you now, guys, I want everybody to build his own computer. You build your own computer. When you build your own uh, computer, Make sure that you got your own number of slot. You got maybe like a modem card. You got your own number of processors. And make sure that you got a power supply. You have to show me how the power supply is connected to a three devices, right? Or components, right? So this is the exercise I'm waiting to see. Don't to go to give them the blank papers. I need a motherboard with all the components that I explained. Right, and beside that, I need one side the power supply and showing how the power supply 
will go and connect to and bring electricity to every device. So thank you very much. Uh, this is uh, Madagot Patch 2. We are going to move on with part and four, right? For any questions, don't hesitate to contact me, guys. Uh, so